Exactly. Let's move on. The Victorian government's considering a 20-year jail term for owners of dogs that kill people. Now, the move follows that tragic death of four-year-old Iron Shoal. The little girl died after being mauled by a neighbour's runaway pit bull mastiff. Iron's mother, Jacqueline Anchito, has spoken via a translator. What she's saying is she did not get any help from the dog owners themselves. She was trying, crying, help, asking for help, but the owners of the dog were just calling the dog and they couldn't get into it and hold the dog. The dog has now been put down and police are still considering whether to lay charges against its owner. The attack, though, has sparked renewed debate about pit bulls and other fighting dog breeds. Well, Brad Griggs is a dog trainer and a canine behaviour specialist. He joins us from Melbourne. Brad, good morning to you. Thank you. Uh, look, this is a really stirred up a lot of emotions, this story. Tell us, in your view, should certain breeds, such as pit bulls, be banned? Morning, guys. I don't think that a blanket ban is the answer even to such a tragic, horrible situation as this. All right, well, what do, we do? Actually... what do we do, though? I mean, the government is considering um, making owners criminally responsible for, for such attacks. Is that a good idea? Do, you know, having a dog, <laughs> you need to have responsibility for your pet. Absolutely, and I feel that increased ownership, uh, responsibility on the owners is the way to go. I'd be very happy for any powerful breed. Uh, to have to pass a character test or a temperament test and New South Wales is an excellent example of a state where uh, independent character assessments are performed on dogs that are considered to uh, have the possibility of being dangerous or are accused of dangerous or menacing behaviour. I think that anything that puts the onus back on the owner and encourages them to have to get their dog into training uh, is a massive plus and I don't think that uh, and I don't really think that making people keep their dogs in the backyard through fear of having them seized or euthanised mm. is in any way helpful. Look, I, I think anyone that's had... I'll have put my hand up as a, as a previous dog owner. We don't have a dog at the moment, but we, we took it to training. We tried to take it to those puppy social schools, etc, etc. Should, should there be more training for anyone that has a dog, no matter what I breed? I mean, let's be honest, all dogs have the potential to bite, but I guess I want to ask you too a slightly politically incorrect question that given maybe hoons are attracted to certain types of vehicles, are some people attracted to certain types of dogs? Well, let me... That's a great question, the whole lot. To answer that in two parts, yes, more training uh, should be accessible to people and the quality of trainers that are available is of particular concern. The National Dog Trainers Federation uh, offer the Australia's only government accredited nationally recognised qualification and that should be the minimum that you look for in your trainers uh, for anyone out there that's looking for a dog trainer. In regards to certain types of people being attracted to certain types of dogs, different dogs have gone through this in different periods, Mel. So we saw a surge in Rottweiler popularity that adversely affected the Rottweiler. We saw the same with Dobermans, we've seen the same with German Shepherds, and we've also seen the same, unfortunately, with uh, terrier types such as, but not limited to, the, the Pitbull Terrier. Uh, unfortunately, the majority of these people that are seeking that kind of yobbo image, <laughs> are, mm. generally speaking, they don't own real Pitbull Terriers, they buy dogs from the trading posts that have been bred by backyard breeders yep. with no focus on temperament and a focus purely on financial gain and stroking their own ego okay. um, simply by thinking that they produce these fantastic dogs that can become problematic mm. without proper training. All right, look, it sounds like we need to have a few more restrictions in place in a few areas, doesn't it? Brad, it's good to talk to you. Thanks very much. Thanks for giving this issue so much attention, Mel. Have it a great day. It deserves it. It needs it. Thank you.